Hi, this is Anne with a how-to anagram on um, uploading a week's worth of code and um, making sure everything's working before you actually start um, whatever your exercise is for the week. So um, the state my machine is in is um, from the end of my last video, I hope, where I have a container, I have a course folder, I have the index, which is going to give me um, links to the course folder, and I have uploaded the first week's um, the initial version of your actual course index folder. Um, and what we're going to work on here is simply um, uploading this. In my, on my local hard drive, I have already downloaded and unzipped those two files and then this folder, which is what we'll be working on this time. Um, what I would like to do is a sanity check, um, which will show you an, uh, an error that, not an error, but an odd state you get into um, that may confuse you or frustrate you. So um, I just opened up this Code Anywhere editor, have this file up there, and generally as a sanity check before I make any change to my machine, I like to make sure that it's in the state where I last left it and that it's working the way I expected. So um, what I would normally do here is run the project, and you will note that when I click that, um, nothing happens. The window that I would normally expect, the browser window I would normally expect to have pop up, does not. And um, this used to confuse me. Um, what I've decided is that my server's still running. Probably what happened is I closed a browser window without logging out. And at that point, the server's running, but this poor little browser window doesn't realize that yet. So um, the you have really two options here. You can actually log out and log back in, but that's a little tedious. Or if, um, as I recommend, you have created a bookmark to your container, if your server's running, you can click on that. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me not leave this page. What I should have done is right click on that and open that link in a new in a new tab. Okay. And you can see that my server's running because I can get to my course, I can get to my um, container page, which can take me to my course page, um, which currently, if I click through on the exercises for week two, I don't get anything because those files haven't been uploaded. So again, if this button looks like you should be able to start your server, i.e. run your project, and that doesn't work. Chances are your server is already running and you need to actually go to the link where you can get to your container index page. Um, after that, things are pretty simple. I want to simply upload this week to folder to my course page. So I am right clicking on the INET 1580 FA19 and doing an upload. And now I can drag my week two from my local hard drive to there. Okay, the upload worked. If I click this triangle now, that opens up. And when I open that, I also can open this one up. I see I've got a bistro folder. And then if I have um, the links in the course index, right, and I'm giving these to you, so I hope that they are right, then I should now be able to um, click the, through from master index to course index to the bistro page. Uh, there's not much in this. When you get it, it's got one line in it. So um, empty files don't work well for zipping and uploading. So what you have is one file is a file with one line in it that you'll erase. And when you start your exercise, you'll simply start typing in this file um, after you've emptied it out. But in the meantime, I can go here, walk the tree. Here's my index to the, the whole container. There's my course index. And now if I click through to this, you'll see that the browser displays that one little bit of text that's in that file. 
And you'll do some form of this every week. Sometimes you may create the week two folder and drag folders into and upload folders into that. Um, what I'll try to do generally is give you a package of starter files for the week and you can simply upload the, the top folder. Um, that'll just vary from one week to the next. Hope that's helpful.